Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today I'm going to be giving you my honest view on what I think of the Indian Turbo Attack products that are currently obviously in the market. Ones that I've been opening up and I've had lots of fun opening them up. But there are some things that I'm not too happy with and there are some things that I think are positive from this. So uh, we're going to go through them all right now. So let's get right into it. Before we do get into today's main topic, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been smashing up the like button. It seems that these Indian products have been very popular with the viewers, so uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying that content and smashing up the like button. Hopefully we're reaching new audiences. I'd like to obviously get an Indian viewer base, get their opinion on things, because maybe this is how their products are in general. And also to everyone that's been going to the HammondsHobbies.com website and purchasing cards, packs, um, I really do appreciate all of your support i've posted pretty much everything out as of recording this video so everyone should have their product in hand so i hope everyone's happy with that but let's get right into today's main topic and that is the indian version of turbo attacks now i get sent a lot of questions every day and obviously everyone want, wants me to answer just their question um understandably so in this video i'm hoping that anyone that comes along that maybe wants to check out this product hopefully i'll answer most most of your questions in this video so then I haven't got to keep replying back to you all across six different social medias. What do I think of the product overall? Overall I was pleasantly surprised just general as a as a whole but I'll get into the negatives in a minute. I was going to just open the product just for basically some YouTube content and I thought I'm not going to add any of it to my own collection because it's really bad quality but then once I started opening them and I started thinking hang on a minute these look the same like and, and they're not so I was actually pleasantly surprised I went in there very negative and I came out of it a lot more positive uh, than I went into it so that's overall a good thing but there are some things that you need to know when you're if you want to build out your own collection if you have started an English set and you want to start adding some of the cheaper Indian products into your collection, here I'm just gonna give you a heads up so that you know what to look out for and maybe what to expect if you do purchase those things. To start off with, I wanna talk about what products you should buy. Now, I opened up one of every single product that Indian Tops website offer and I would say the best product that I enjoyed opening was this here. This is the um, Champions Pack. Uh, from uh, Tops India, you can see there it says Tops India, and uh, this came in a nice little Tops team, which I quite like the look of, and it came with like an insert to hold the cards, but this contained all of the diamond edition of the cards, so all these diamond Ellie's including Daniel Ricardo and Lance Stroll, which obviously they are some of the hardest ones to find at the moment because they were special promotional products, so I would definitely recommend if you're looking to complete your set, most of you need this card okay and I'll get on to this in a second with my views on it the other thing that you'll get from this is the signature cards the uh, digital signature cards that look like this now I was really happy with how these signature cards came out now a lot of people get confused because people in the hobby are used to opening up say chrome f1 dynasty now these are very high-end production cards they are hand signed by the driver in the Des f1 dynasty collection you have their patch so an actual piece of their uniform cut out and put into the card but these cards are massively expensive to give you an idea a lewis hamilton autograph from 2021 at one point was worth about twenty thousand uh, pounds the lewis hamilton from 2020 went for, it was on eBay, I remember did a video about it for like a million pounds or a million and a half pounds or something, it's saying ridiculous. These are turbo attacks, like these are one to two pound a pack products. So you've got to expect one to two pound product type autographs, yeah? So these are digitally printed 
autograph. So obviously they're a, a replica of the driver's autograph printed several, several, several thousands of times. Um, but they are really cool. Like there's no other turbo tax like this at the moment from the last few years. Uh, they, the autograph, as well as it being their autograph, is actually holographic. So it's like the rainbow foil. If you look, you can see it shimmers different colors. And as well as that, you can't see it on camera, but it's very grooved. So there's loads of little lines going through it. You can't, I, I can never pick it up on camera, but I don't know if you can see that. Look, you see it's all bumpy and groovy. So I, I think these signature cards are, uh, these were the biggest surprise for me. I was expecting to open them and go, eh. but I actually really like these and I'm going to complete the entire set of all these signature cards. So that's one of the biggest positives from this set. And you get 10 of these, 10 in this tin. So you're gonna complete the diamond set and you're gonna complete autograph cards. Unfortunately, this is the most expensive product on the Topps website. Now, someone has criticized me because I have put these up for pre-order on my website. If you go to hammondshobbies.com, you can actually order. I'm gonna put in an order with a distributor in India um, to get some more of these products because I think these are worth having. Now, these in India only cost, if you do Google's conversion rate, about 18 pounds. But if you convert that in PayPal's conversion rate, it's about 20 pounds, let's just say. On top of that 20 pound, you've got to pay someone in India to handle it, to receive it from Tops India. Then they have to repackage it and post it to you in the post because you don't want it just posted like this so you got to give him something so let's say he takes 15 20 percent at least and i think that's fair on a 20 pound product you know you're talking about three four quid then obviously you have to pay delivery on top of that which uh, from india to the uk last time i did a big order i spent about 45 pounds on postage that was across obviously different products but let's say you're adding on another five pound per product for postage so now you're up to 30 quid then you've got to pay customs charges when it enters the country now you're up to 36 pound then you've got to pay paypal fees so before you know it it becomes 40 50 quid very easily and then for me to sell it to someone else I then need to, I've got to pay tax myself if I sell it, plus obviously fees on my website, and then posted. So yeah, it's, it's the massive amount of, I didn't realize how many fees there are in buying something from another country uh, coming into the UK. So that's if you do it all legit. Now, if you had know someone in India and they're just a family friend and you can buy these for £20, they get delivered, they post it to you, say you pay the £5 postage still, so you can get it for 25, 30 pound, then I would say go and do it. it for that sort of money, it's, it's awesome. I'm selling these for 80 pound on my website and that gives me a profit for my Hammond's Hobbies company of about 20 pound from do it, for doing all of that. So um, that's me being completely transparent and honest. You don't get many people talking about what profit they make from products uh, in, in the hobby. So, you know, I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, but I would say that that's the best product. And then what I have done is I have listed some of the other products so that there's a good variety. Like uh, one of the cheapest products I think I'm doing on my website from India is 18 pounds. So, you know, I'm trying to aim for the low end as well. I also looked at what these are going for on eBay. On eBay currently, I think these are up for 150 pound or 100 quid or something like that. So you could criticize me for trying to make 20 pound, but then you could look at other people and say, well, actually Glenn's selling it for like a third of or half of what other people are trying to sell it for. So that's my take on it. I'll, I'll allow you to make your own minds up on that. So we're happy with the signature cards. That's one thing off our tick list. Ding, happy days. We've also got the XL cards. Now the XL cards, this is an English version, or uh, they're all English, it, all the Indian products, this is another question I got asked, all the Indian products are in English. They speak native English in India, as well as their own uh, Indian language, so all of their products is in English. So you can't tell them apart in the writing or the text or the numbers, nothing like that. There's no difference in that regard. These are the XL cards. So this is a English printed card, and this is an Indian printed version. And obviously I've kept this one in the sleeve. I don't really want to take it out of the sleeve. I put it in the sleeve the day I got it, otherwise I'll get confused <laughs> which one's which. But uh, you can probably tell in this camera shot I actually think almost the Indian one looks like a slightly better skin tone. Um, it's a bit lighter, if anything, uh, than this uh, English one. Uh, in terms of the thickness, they're both 
in terms of thickness, you wouldn't, I can't tell them apart. Obviously, this one's in the sleeves, quite hard to tell. Uh, but yeah, so XL cards from India. Ding, another tick from me. You can't tell them apart. And that is why I've listed them on my website. I've listed the rarer ones, the ones you can only get from India, for slightly more money than what you can get these ones for. Just to give you an example, these uh, were selling on eBay for about 60, I think about between 50 and 60 pound because they were quite rare and far a few between. Obviously, now there's the Indian ones, and like I opened up the Indian products and I pulled four or five, and I thought, well, if I've pulled four or five, then other people have pulled hundreds. So I thought, right, okay. So I put this up for, I think it was either $7.99 or $9.99, something like that. So a lot cheaper than the English one. I, that's not to say that I think this one's inferior to this one, it's just that I think there's a lot more of them. But you'd struggle to sort of tell the difference. If you look at that shot there, that is. You can, uh, if anything, I'd say the Indian one is slightly lighter. Right, so that's the XL cards. Happy with those. Um, with the carry boxes, I think the carry boxes, if you are on a budget but you would like to get some signature cards, this carry product, which came with this little uh, photo frame, which you can view on my YouTube channel, I think this offers the most value for money for signature cards because you get... I think it's two or three of them in the box. So already you've got two or three of them. And then you get 12 packs included uh, inside the box. And this, the pull ratios for a signature card in India is one to 24 packs. So the chance you've got half a chance of pulling one in the actual packs themselves. So that means that potentially from one carry box, you could end up with three signature cards. And those carry boxes, um, I'm selling for, a, I think it's 30, 30 or 35 pound. So you could end up with three or four signature cards and you get this little frame as well. <laughs> so, uh, and then whatever else you pull as well from the uh, packs. And I think you also get a Dutch orange, um, which uh, I'll move on to those actually. So, oh no, I'll move. They're gonna be my last point, okay? These are the pinks. This is an English version of a pink. This is an Indian version of a pink. Obviously, one's in a top loader, one's in a sleeve. I'll take these out because I don't mind if I accidentally mix them up. Here's the two cards here. I'll try and get them in the same lighting. Uh, you can see the pink one is slightly, I would say, darker. Some of them look slightly lighter. But it's... You're nitpicking. It's so... Um, to criticize a card because it's slightly if i pulled three or four of this pierre gasly in english there's no guarantee that they all print out exactly the same they they could be slightly different shades so the fact that you know i don't know what do you guys think i find it hard to tell the difference between these pinks apart uh, hence why i've put them on my website and you can see there that both of the cards are curving a little bit uh, this one's curving this way and this one so it look together they look all right um, but they're about the same thickness uh, I would say the Indian ones are slightly thinner when I say slightly thinner I mean <sighs> you're just going by feel uh, I can't see that they're thinner one of the reasons I do think that they may be curving like that is because obviously that if they are manufactured and made in India India is a very hot, humid country, and I believe they're currently in their summer. Now, obviously, you're shipping these cards over to the UK, and it's absolutely freezing at the moment. So whenever you get any cards, um, and it goes from hot to cold, and I find this a lot in the world of Pokemon. So this is a Pokemon ETB that I have just full of like 500 different Pokemon cards, and you can see, look, there's loads of them that are starting to curve up. Now, obviously, Pokemon are known for being pretty good quality, pretty good ink quality, uh, but they still do it as well. So if they do it, um, you know, you can't judge tops for doing it when it's like a, a one pound product for 10 cards, you know, sort of thing. Um, that's my that's my take on it. You may disagree with me. You may think that you, you should get a better quality product. But I, I think that the Indian version is 
pretty much on par in terms of the pink parallels and i would say that about the reds now the reds i've never pulled a red parallel uh, the only ones that i've got are from the jumbo boxes that they did where you got guaranteed red now if you look at that look the reds are the same tone and everything it's really hard to tell them apart even kevin magnuson's skin tone looks the same um you know the print quality looks the same i honestly can't tell these apart if they were the same exactly the same card i'd struggle to tell them apart um so i'll let you be the judge of that again so now i don't know which one's the indian one the indian one's the idol one i think i put all of the indian cards whilst they're obviously adjusting to the temperature here this is my opinion you may have a different view on it um i put them in these extra thick sleeves um and i put them in top loaders so if anyone does purchase this card for, from me it should be in the best condition that it could be because it's been sort of flattened out a bit with the sleeve and also it's been protected the whole time in a top loader so uh, anyone who does purchase any parallels or anything from my website just so you know that obviously they've been looked after the best they could be from the day they were pulled from a pack now moving on to some of the negatives right i've just said a load of positive things about some of the product and some of the cards so let's move these out of the way so i know what ones i've talked about <laughs> base 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 this is an indian base card this is a english base card and the differences you can tell all of the images on these look a little bit I don't know how to word it duller like a bit more dull and darker they all seem to be darker I don't know if that's because they're already printed on a black card but they just seem a bit darker all of them like all the um, silver cards all of the stat attacks and any of the, the portrait cards they all look like that um, so that really irritates me and these in for some reason the base ones in particular i can tell that they are thinner they don't even feel like the same card they feel almost i dare i say it, rubberized i don't i it's really hard to explain unless you've got one in your hand and you can feel it compared to the english one which does feel like card this feels more like card to me this feels a bit rubberized like uh i don't know flimsy i don't know i don't know what it is so what i have uh, vowed to do is i've actually thrown away all the base indian product i will not be selling any indian versions of base cards on my website at all uh, so all the Indian products that I've been opening lately if you're buying anything from my website You will not accidentally end up with an Indian version of uh, Any of the base set cards so that's card from one all the way through to 329 um, So that's my view on the base. Yeah, I'm not happy with the base at all Don't want it and I don't want to resell it. So that's my view on it I may offend some people out there. Some people may be watching this from India and they may have completed a whole base set and be really proud of their base set. But if all you know is this, then you're not going to know any different. But when you have two products and one is clearly better than the other, you want the better one. Same with the EX cards. The EX cards, you can clearly tell that the print quality, for some reason, I don't know if it's because they've printed it the same as the base, but... Look, you see like Yuki Tsunoda in this EX card looks the correct skin tone and the image looks sharp. Now look at this one. The skin tone doesn't look right. I don't know if it's because it's got a red background and there's a slight more red tint to it, isn't there? And the image looks duller. It doesn't look as sharp. Look at the background image of Yuki Tsunoda here. Now look at this one. It doesn't look right it doesn't look the same so again obviously i've not been a huge fan of these ex cards in uh, india so i prefer the english ones of those now moving on to my this is my biggest gripe so this is well, i probably should have started here because a lot of you would have dropped off after five minutes <laughs> these are the le versions of the cards okay so the le's the limited editions i have here let's say let's start off with fernando alonso this is a pretty standard le card you pull this all the time in the english product and it seems that you get it in the indian one as well now not only is the image slightly darker 
slightly duller, doesn't look as sharp. But if you look at the background of the English card, sorry, I don't mean to make you guys feel sick, keep moving cards in and out. But if you look at the background of these cards, look, they have that tire mark and they also have the F1 logo in holographic. You have to shine it in certain lights. See it there? Now that runs along the whole card from the top all the way down to the bottom. Um, so it looks very premium. It looks holographic. Um, the image looks sharp, looks clear. So I really like the English version of limited editions. The Indian version doesn't have any of that. If you look, look, it doesn't matter where I shine it, there's no hollow. So anyone would be able to spot a million miles away that this is not the same. If you had these in a binder together and they were side by side, you would clearly be able to see that this one is different or uh, to this one you know like and and on top of that not only are they missing something that the english one has which obviously makes it an inferior product already yeah so forget we forget we're getting past that bit look at the image quality he looks darker in this image than he does in this image to the point where he looks different um you know here you can see look it looks very sharp you can see all the details of his beard his hair whereas this one it just looks dull. It just, it looks like, to me, it reminds me of Pokemon cards uh, back in the early 90s when fake Pokemon cards came out and you used to look at them and go, that don't look right. So, and you couldn't put your finger on it. It was just like maybe Charizard was a slightly different red or something like that. But that's what this reminds me of is they look fake. That's the best way I can put it. Uh, again, I'm not... I'm not a big fan, or I say big fan, I have not put any of these up for sale on my website. So anyone who's been purchasing LE cards from my website, they are not the Indian version. I've not, I've kept all of them. Um, I've not put any up for sale. I don't know what to do with them. I was thinking, I don't know whether to just sell them off cheap or whether to give them away, but they're all like it. Um, so I don't like LEs. I don't like LEs, I don't like EXs, and I don't like base. Now, obviously, the biggest chase cards that a lot of people are trying to get at the moment is that Daniel Ricardo in the Diamond version and also URs. So I'll get onto those in a second. The Daniel Ricardo one, I had a guy message me late, late last night and he said, Glenn, I've bought a complete set off someone. Can you tell me if I've bought the Indian version of Daniel Ricardo or the English? And he sent me a picture and straight away I said, that's the English version. And I could tell because of the holographic in the photo. Whereas the Indian version has none of it at all. But this is a very sought after card. And for some people, they wouldn't care about that. Some people will go, yeah, look, Glenn, I don't care. I just want one for my binder. So my son thinks I've got the entire set, you know, whatever. So what I've done is I've put these on my website. Daniel, I, I don't know if I did actually, because so many people messaged me saying, have you got it? And to this day, I only had two of these, the Indian versions. And uh, I said to people, this is the Indian version. And they said, can you send me a photo? I'd send them a photo of both of them together. And they were like, yep, I'm happy with that. And I just charged them a tenner. Uh, whereas these currently are going for like 100, 120 quid. In some cases, you can get them for about 80. So I'm selling these a lot cheaper. And I'm putting in the title Indian version. Just to make it really clear, like you are buying the Indian version of this product. Now for some people, they won't care about this holographic thing in the background. And they may say, actually that image looks okay. But to me, it doesn't look right. Just don't look right. That's my opinion on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts comment down below. And the same can be said, I won't go too much into it, for the UR cards. A lot of people, again, these are very sought after cards. Currently, these are going, I think on eBay, if you get the Ferrari red version or the Dutch orange, they're going for like 50, 60 pounds. And for some people, that's just out of out of reach of what they want to spend on turbo tax. And that's just me being honest. Some people won't mind spending that extra to get the English version because they just want the premium collection. But for some people out there, they just want to complete the set cheap as possible. So again, I've put these up for sale. I haven't actually, I haven't put these on my website, but I've had several people message me saying, and I've said, the only ones I've got are the Indian versions. And they're like, yeah, can I have it? And I'm like, mm, you know, so I may end up selling these, but I'm being 
honest and transparent with everyone this is the english version now as soon as i say things like that people say well what is there a problem with the english indian version do you not like it and i feel like i have to give my um opinion on it because so many people are asking me well hang on a minute what's the right one to buy what should i keep should i buy the english version or should i buy the indian version why is the indian version cheaper why is it you know and i'm getting so many questions and I'm trying to do what's right, you know, obviously I have, now that I've set up a store, I have a responsibility to the people that are buying the product. So what I don't want to do is, is list a load of LEs with a picture of an English one on there. People then receive the Indian version and they go, oh, that don't look right. Oh, has he sold me a fake? You know, and get into those sort of conversations. So what I've done is, you know, I've listed, I think it was a Dutch orange. I sold a Dutch orange on my website for $9.99 and I think I told the person, you know, this is an Indian... Oh, I put in the title, Indian version, and obviously it was only $9.99. The English versions are selling for £50, £60. Pound. So, you know, if if people want them, then obviously I'll sell them to them. But that's, that's, my, um, that's my full review of the complete Indian product. I don't think there's any other types of cards that I haven't gone through. But what I will say is that if you do see any Indian product on my website that I feel looks different to the English version, it will be stated Indian version in the title. So when I've put this Daniel Ricardo up, it will say Indian version. When I put these UR LEs, it will say Indian version. In terms of the, uh, the pinks, the reds, I find it very hard to tell them apart. So I'm just gonna include them in the English ones that I have. That's my view on it. I, I'm gonna list these all as the same. Uh, the red parallels, the pink parallels, um, you know, I'm really happy with those. And obviously the signature cards, I'm really happy with those as well. Again, I'm still selling them at a discounted price on my website because now there's a massive amount of supply uh, for the demand that's out there. Before, when I was trying to hunt down a signature card, there was none on the market. There was none on eBay. There was none in the Facebook groups. And then when one did go on eBay, it sold for something like £200. Then the next one sold for like 150 And that's where they sort of stayed, 150 quid for the, one, the odd one that came up far and few between. Now, there's... 10,000 of them on the market. So obviously I have to reflect that in the price. I don't just want to try and, you know, cash cow people and milk them um, and put the signature cards up for 80 quid each or 100 quid each uh, because I just think that's unfair. So I typically listed them for about £12.50 because then that covers the... This is the way I was looking at it. If you get 10 in a box, that covers the cost of the box and then gives a little bit of profit um, and that's fair. I feel that's fair for, you know, opening the products, listing it all individually, yada, 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 yada. So uh, these I've put up. Um, the, obviously, the more sought after drivers uh, on eBay, like, say, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Yuki Sonoda, Kevin Magnussen. I actually wrote a list down last night. Where is that list? To give you guys an example, uh, to educate you guys, <laughs> when you buy the champion tins so these and you get 10 drivers from the two that i opened up you got exactly the same cards like exactly the same so i've crossed out all the ones that you get included so the the ones that haven't been crossed out they're the ones that you need to pull from packs so that means that these are harder to get hold of than all the others which therefore, in my mind, means that they're rarer, which means they're more sought after, because people are going to now try and complete these signature sets. So they will go on my website for more money than... I had a gentleman message me and he said, Hi, Glenn, don't know if you've made a mistake, but you've sold one of your card signature cards for more than the others. I said, yeah, because it's harder to pull. Like, it, it, So I went through and I wrote a list. So these are the ones, if you can pick them up cheap on eBay or anything like that, snap them up. Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Esteban Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, Alex Albon, Valtteri Bottas, uh, you, Mick Schumacher, and Kevin Magnussen. They're the 10 that you want to uh, pick up if they're going cheap because otherwise the pool ratios on the Indian packs 
for the standard packs are one in every 24 packs. So if you want to get potentially all 10, you're going to have to buy 240 packs. And then you're going to have to hope you do not get one duplicate in there. You pull a different driver every single time. And mixed in with those packs as well are the other 10 as well. So it's not like they've taken those 10 out of the packs because they're in the champions pack. No, you could open. So that means in theory, you have to pull one of every single driver. You'd have to open up a ratio of 500 packs. If you want to lower those odds, you can buy the multi packs, which are thicker packs. They come with an XL card and they come with, um, they come with like a normal pack. Uh, and that pull ratio of signature cards are one in every 12. But they're double the price of the pack. So in terms of money, it will cost you exactly the same amount of money. So if you are on the hunt for signature cards, like I am, they're the pull ratios. That's the differences between all the cards. I hope that's educated you. I hope that's helped you on your journey. Please comment down below any thoughts that you have. If you feel... Uh, there's anything that I should go over more in detail. Maybe I'll make a post about it and put it on Facebook or TikTok or Twitter or so something like that. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I think I've covered everything and I hope I've made it clear. I hope I've said that clear enough. I've been doing this video now for 30 something minutes. That's quite a long video for me. Normally I try and keep them within 10 minutes, but it's quite hard to discuss the nuances between the different cards very quickly. I'd have to talk really, really fast. Um, so I hope you've liked that. If you have, smash up the like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're almost at a thousand. Also, follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all with the name Hammond's Hobbies. Apart from Facebook, join our Facebook group, which is F1 Sports Cards. And also, head on over to Hammond'sHobbies.com, where all of these cards are can be purchased apart from the ones that I said I don't like and I'm not going to list. We now have Kalana on my website. So if you want to purchase things, and I've had a couple people do it already, you can spread the payments out over three months. So if you want to go over to my website today and say you want to buy something for £100, Kalana allows you to split it so you pay £33 a month for the next three months. Um, so that's awesome. I'm glad that that's active on there now. Um, so head on over there, hammondshobbies.com, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.